What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a uh, quick post fight thoughts of the Josh Taylor versus Jack Catterall fight. Fight just ended minutes ago over in uh, Glasgow, Scotland, the hometown of Josh Taylor. And uh, yeah, the fight went the distance. It went the whole 12 rounds. And Josh Taylor won the fight by split decision. Two judges had it in favor of Josh Taylor. 114, 111, 113, 112 in favor of Josh Taylor. One judge had it in favor of Jack Catterall, 113, 112. And uh, with this win, Josh Taylor remains the undisputed champion of the world, keeping all his belts, IBF, WBC, WBO, WBA, and Ring Magazine belts for uh, Josh Taylor. Now, was it a real win? In my opinion, no, I thought Jack Catterall should have won this fight. I thought it was a clear robbery. But then I went on social media and I actually noticed like a lot of people actually had Taylor winning a close fight. Heck, Andre Ward, I don't know what the fuck he was watching, man. I don't know what fight Andre Ward was watching, but Jack, Jack Catterall won this fight. He should have won. I know the referee got involved way too much. There was point deductions for both guys. Uh, Jack Harrell scored a knockdown, I think, round number 8, I believe. It was in the second half. I can't remember exactly what round. But, you know, it's a fight that Jack should have won. It's a fight that Jack should have won. I think I had to, like, I think I only gave uh, Taylor four rounds, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe five at most. But even so, with the, with the knockdown and the point deductions... It would have gone to Taylor. I mean, to uh, Catterall on my scorecard, but um, but yeah, man, I, <sighs> Taylor did not look good in this one. I don't know what he was doing. That left hand was not landing good. I don't know why he kept go trying to throw a straight left. You can tell by Jack Catterall's stance, the way his side stance with that shoulder on the side. Uh, Taylor couldn't land anything clean. Um. You know, he looked like he tried to land those uppercuts. I mean, he landed a few here and there, but I think the right hand, if he threw his right hand more and set up his right hand more, I think Taylor would have had more success. But, man, he kept making the same mistake time after time and kept getting hit with that straight left from Catterall. Catterall was getting him, clipping him with some really good clean shots, which eventually led to that knockdown in the second half. And, you know, the fight was dirty. There were some really dirty moments here and there where they, they tangled up a lot, held a lot. They went down to the floor, I mean, to the, the canvas. Um, some headbutts. Uh, referee got involved way too much. Um, you know, it's a controversial fight, no doubt about it. It was a controversial fight, but Jack Catterall definitely should have won and pulled off. You know, he, he, could, he, should, he could have, you know, he deserved that belt. And it would have been a massive upset if he won. But now instead... It's a massive controversial fight. Um, people bring up the argument that you don't go to Scotland and front, you know, fight a Scottish champion and fight the way that he did. I mean, at the end of the day, it's boxing. And in my opinion, Catterall was winning more rounds. But, you know, it's a sport of boxing for you, man. And when, when, when the judges took forever to give the scorecards, uh, we all knew that it was going to be controversial. Usually after a fight, if it takes forever for uh, the judges to give the scorecard, it's going to be controversial. Um, that one judge who had it 114-111, I felt like he had it the other way around, man. I felt like they changed the names around. It should have been 114-111 in favor of uh, Catterall, in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I feel bad for Catterall. Um, but, you know sport of boxing and it, it sucks it, it robberies do happen and uh i kept saying year after year that something has to be done about it but after being a fan of the sport for how many years now i'm kind of used to it to be honest which is the sad part but anyway with this win josh taylor improves to 9 and 19 and 0 uh remaining undefeated keeping all his belts what's next for josh taylor looking at the 140 pound division i mean he talked about this is probably his last fight at 140. Uh, he's considered the uh, super champion for the WBO. So if he moves up in weight to 147 pounds, the welterweight division, 
he will automatically be the mandatory challenger for Terence Crawford, and that's the fight he keeps talking about leading up to this fight. So chances are that's will that's what he'll most likely do: vacate all the belts at 140 and move up to 147. And you know, fighting at 140, 140, he arguably uh, cleaned out the division prior to the Jack Catterall fight. Um, but you know, now I think most people realize how good Jack Catterall is. Uh, Jack Catterall did a very good job being patient, picking his shots in this fight, landing that left, held holding when he needed to hold. One may say he held too much, uh, hence why he got uh, deducted with a point. Um, but now he suffered his first loss, 26 and 1, 13 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Um, should have won, man. Should have won, but. You know, sport of boxing for you. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people from Lancashire, am I, am I pronouncing it right, are pissed off about the decision. Like I said, I'm actually really surprised there's a lot of people out there who thought this was a very, like, who thought Taylor won a very close fight. I, I really couldn't see how you want, he won a close fight. I mean, most rounds I, I could give him is five rounds. I think I gave him four at the end of 12. But still, man, it's, especially with the knockdown. Jack, Jack should have won this fight, but clearly a robbery. Anyway, not the end of the world for Jack Catterall, 28 years old. Um, I definitely see him becoming a world champion. I could definitely see him eventually winning one of these belts, whether it's IBF, WBO, WBC, WBA, once uh, Josh Taylor vacates them. Um, I mean, he should be the champion by now, but you know. Uh, got robbed so anyway let me know what did you guys think about the fight I feel bad for Kato I, I really do but you know it's <laughs> he nearly pulled it off he, he nearly pulled it off would have been a massive upset definitely would have been one of the upsets of the year if he pulled it off but instead we have one of the most controversial fights of the year now so let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.